Welcome back to our Neuropathy Relief Program video series. I'm Dr. Jason Tripp, the creator of the Nerve Restoration Neuropathy Program. And today we're going to explore the various types of neuropathy. Understanding these types is crucial because one may require a different approach in treatment and management than another would. So the topic is the types of neuropathy. There's peripheral neuropathy, there's diabetic neuropathy, and more. Neuropathy isn't a one-size-fits-all condition. It takes on different forms. Each has its unique characteristics and underlying causes. One of the most common types of is peripheral neuropathy. This form primarily affects the peripheral nerves, which are responsible for transmitting signals to and from your extremities, like your fingers or into your toes. Peripheral neuropathy can lead to symptoms like tingling or numbing or pain or cold or hot or feeling like you're walking with your socks all punched up, like there's a lot of symptoms. And it's often because of conditions like diabetes or alcohol abuse or exposure to toxins. Effective management and treatment depend on understanding the root cause of your problem. Diabetic neuropathy, as the name suggests, is closely linked to diabetes. High blood sugar levels can damage the nerves over time leading to diabetic neuropathy. It's a significant concern for individuals with diabetes and can result in symptoms like tingling and loss of sensation and pain in the feet and legs. Managing blood sugar levels is essential in controlling and preventing diabetic neuropathy. But neuropathy doesn't stop at these common types. It can also arise from other causes such as traumatic injury, autoimmune disorders, and infections like shingles. Additionally, exposure to environmental toxins and certain medications can trigger neuropathy symptoms. Each type of neuropathy may present with distinct challenges and re require a tailored approach to treatment. One size doesn't fit all. It's essential to identify the specific type you're dealing with so you can develop an effective treatment plan. In our upcoming videos, We'll delve deeper into the cause of neuropathy and explore how pinpointing these causes can lead to better management and relief. If you or someone you know is dealing with neuropathy, understanding the type of neuropathy it is is crucial in the first step on the road to recovery. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of different types of neuropathy. In our next video, we'll discuss the various causes of neuropathy and shed light on why it's essential to pinpoint underlying factors. If you have questions or need guidance regarding neuropathy, please reach out. We're here to provide support, assistance, and help you on your journey in relief and recovery. You can call or connect on Facebook at Neuropathy Relief with Dr. Jason Tripp, or you can call the office at 724-342-2225. Stay tuned for our next video on the causes of neuropathy.